In this part of the mechanical training series, we are going to talk about an additional feature that SimLab Composer offers for VR, which is grabbable sequences. The grabbable sequence allows you to interactively play the sequence in VR while maintaining control over it. While in the case of a trigger-activated sequence, you would only be able to start the sequence and let it run without having any means to control it. From the Actions menu, Select Make Grabbable Sequence. Select the loader's bucket and click on the green mark to set it as the grabbable driver for the sequence. Notice that the navigation panel at the bottom switched the sequences tab. Click on the sequence named Loader, which is the loader movement sequence which we created in the previous part of the training series, and click on the green mark. Next, you're going to determine the size of the graphical helper, which is going to guide the movement of the grabbable object in the VR experience. Keep it set to 1, as it is a suitable default size for it, and click on the green mark to finish the grabbable sequence creation. From the Launch Viewer menu, select Desktop Mode. Press H on your keyboard to display the hand tool. Use the scroll on your mouse to move the hand further away from you or towards you. Move and aim the hand towards the loader's bucket. Once the bucket is highlighted in yellow, indicating that the hand is intersecting with it, hold the right click on your mouse and move the cursor up and down while still holding the right click. You will notice a path appearing to guide the direction of motion as determined by animation sequence design. Notice also that releasing the right click at any point during the movement will preserve the state of the object and will not reset the sequence. Press Escape on your keyboard to exit the desktop mode and go back to SimLab Composer. As previously done earlier, to convert the door to a grabbable sequence, go to the Actions menu and select Make Grabbable. With the door assembly selected, click on the green mark, then select the door animation sequence and set the helper size. Let us review another method of using the grabbable sequence feature, where you use an object to control another object in the scene. Begin by creating an animation for the seat going up. Set the current frame to frame 30, then move the seat upwards. Create an additional animation by rotating the stick next to the seat. Now select the keys for both the stick and the seat and click on Create Animation Sequence. Name the sequence and click OK. What we have created is a sequence where both the stick and the seat move at the same time. Select the stick's handle and from the Actions menu, select Make Grabbable Sequence. Select the newly created sequence as the grabbable sequence and set the helper's size. Then click the green mark to finish the creation process. Run the VR experience. The Grabbable Sequences feature offers an alternative mechanism for the traditional action sequence. Choosing which method to use for playing sequences in the VR session depends on the type of mechanical design you are planning to demonstrate, as well as functions and options you want to feature in the SimLab VR experience.